hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here my name is esther Moffrey. in today's video i want to show you very quickly on how to trade double bottom what do you do to spot double bottom and what to avoid so immediately you open your chart double bottom of course it's supposed to be on a market that has been trending down a market that has been creating lower lows and lower highs and a point of where you have identified a very very key support zone so for instance we have identified this support zone you can see the market is not breaking uh this is our very very um point the lowest point of this market it came all the way from this point this was 7th feb and for like two months it has been dropping down and then all of a sudden it stops here and then it was coming up and immediately the minute um the market the sellers continue to come down everyone thought that they will create a double bottom and what happens the market did not touch here so you need to understand that the double bottom has to touch the second uh bottom has to touch this zone so immediately the market didn't touch here we knew for sure that the market will not go for long buyers won't have that momentum to push the market up because we do not have a pattern in mind but you're not saying that this market could not continue to go up it could have continued but you could not trade it with that much confidence so guys what do you do you have now two zones that are uh you have two zones that the sellers have uh, rejected this the the market has rejected the sellers so i will still uh, mark this zone so we have these two zones and these two zones can react as our double bottom so we have first attempt here we have first attempt here now sellers are coming back again guys the minute uh let me tell you something when you have two zones now you're working with two zones if this zone is broken don't enter thinking that the market is at double bottom is it if it is broken we'll just remove this zone and now we work with the with the other zone i'm using four hour time frame one thing i've realized with four hour time frame the market uh the 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 sell can come and break with a body that's something i've realized with uh with um four hour and you know for the rules of double bottom is that the market is not supposed to break with the body if this happens what i do i switch immediately to daily time frame because the uh, at 4 hour it can have broken with the body this should be a red candle it can broke with the body but when you switch to to daily the market has remained a week i don't know if you're getting you can have a double bottom at at daily but in four hour it has violated so once you have your zone marked even if it has broken with a body all you need to do is to go to daily so for instance if you are checking double bottoms with one hour and you see your double bottom that the second leg has broken that's the support that you thought it will create a double bottom all you need to do is to switch to higher time frame you can go to two hours four hours and maybe now you can see clearly your double bottom being formed so for me i know if if the market is not supposed to the price is not supposed to break with the body but if it does that all i need to do is to go to daily and confirm with that, that day candle if it closes well i know my my i will know that my double top has come from daily time frame i hope that is clear so let's play this uh uh chart and we see if how what will happen at the at the first zone so you can see the sellers are coming in well and the, this candle the fact that the candles are not reacting at this zone it means the market can break this zone easily because we do not have reaction you can see these are very uh two big momentum candles and they are not even reacting so be patient many people what i used to do uh before i knew this strategy i would put my sell limit uh, my buy limit immediately it touches here it activates my order but i came to realize it's not a must that the market will come and get rejected so it's you to be patient to observe the market observe the candles and you'll be able to know if the market if the, that support will hold or 
it will just break so with the look of things it seems like it will break so you can see the market has started to react so many people do what let me tell you what many people do if they see this doji they'll just enter by they'll come here and enter by which is very wrong why because we are not even sure that this market um and they think because now if this is a double bottom this become my my neckline so they will uh target that zone i used to trade this way once i see a doji i will use to trade this way but let me tell you guys doji is not enough uh enough evidence that this market will not break so what i do i will use wbb i like this um uh, this strategy i'll just use wbb to govern me if i'm supposed to enter that trade or not so i will use wbb on that doji if buyers are strong they should break this box and then we can maybe get an entry so let's see what happens so you can see the market is still re reacting at the box so then immediately something like this happened i'm double sure that this is a trap from uh, the market makers they want many people to enter by and maybe they want to break this zone so if the box is not broken all i do i'll just adjust my box i'll just adjust my box and check the next candle you can see immediately what has happened guys i have told you multiple times that double bottoms and double tops they are very easy to trade if you have a role in it you can see that the reason i didn't enter thinking this is a double bottom a double bottom is because yes we had a doji a doji is not enough just put wbb and even write guys the reason why i tell people to write wbb is to always be reminded that i will wait box break i will not do anything until that box breaks so wbb means i will wait for this box to break if buyers are powerful and if the market does not break and it prints another green candle you have to adjust guys adjust your candle like that uh your box and again say i will enter if buyers break this box and see what happens we were given a very huge bearish momentum candle with a, how many pips are uh, uh, with 93 pips candle so if you had entered here thinking this is a double bottom you'll start fearing such a setup and the reason why we don't trade these simple setups like double tops double bottoms is because you don't know when to enter when is the end how what is the confirmation and that's what i'm teaching you guys i'm teaching you to get a confirmation on double bottom now that's how what you do immediately it has broken support you already know because we are we are analyzing for our time frame so after four hours the candle has uh, has printed red now we are remaining with the the last zone so our double bottom cannot be uh, made by this uh small zone so this is our next hope if it breaks if the the candle now breaks here and continues and we go to daily and it has broken now we do not have a double bottom so let's see what happened so the market came to this zone you can see it is almost breaking so imagine someone who entered by here they are already if they didn't have a stop loss they already negative let me tell you how they already negative 147 pips already so so the market came almost now breaking this zone now let's see what what happens after that if it will continue to break so this is what i was saying guys if you see the market has broken like this you can see it has broken with a body many people will say now that's not a double bottom and they give up with the what they do they'll give up with this uh with this pattern and they they don't care what will happen because already it has broken uh the support and all we know that double bottoms are not supposed to break a uh, support with a body but i tell you guys we cannot we can have a violation on four hour but when you go to daily the market can still uh can still have a double bottom so what do we do we will check we, what time frame is this this was 12 this candle was uh was 12 so we'll play until daily candle closes so we can see the market is still coming up you can see the market is still coming up and then so uh we will wait for candle close 
we will not enter the market until the candle closes daily because already we don't know if the market will continue to go down guys understand this on four hour we do not have a double bottom so i don't know if i write for you so you will just write somewhere four hour time frame four hour equals no double bottom because it has violated so four hour it has no double bottom so you go you shift to daily time frame daily time frame wait wait candle close so why are you waiting for candle close to see if the if the double uh, if the if the candle how will it close so daily time frame wait for candle close so if we wait for candle close we will identify if we have the double bottom or not so for our we know for sure we don't have double bottom so all along we are waiting so this is 8 uh, p.m candle so we ha just have one candle and now we can now flip to to daily to see if the market really re broke this zone on four hour it is clearly we do not have a double bottom so let's shift to daily now i'm shifting to daily time frame and you can see very clearly guys our double bottom now has been created on daily time frame. You can see it has not broken the support. But on 4 hour, we can see it has broken support. But daily, it has not broken support. So what you do, now you shift everything. Yes, entry will look with 4 hours, but our double bottom is on daily. Our double bottom is on daily time frame. So where is our neckline? Our neckline is not this one. This is not the neckline because when we were using for our this was the neckline the red where i had put red now our neckline is this huge place um the the last high of this market so that's our neckline so if we enter by with a uh, four hour confirmation entry we are targeting up to that uh, uh red horizontal line so that's where we are targeting because that's our neckline so we can write this is our neckline because um we need we need confirmation even with daily candle you don't need to have confirmation with four hour remember our double bottom now is daily so we will stick to daily time frame now this the, if the candle closes like this we are looking for two things we are looking for either a bullish a bullish engulfing candle or we are looking a small candle we put a box and then it breaks our wbb that's what we are looking so you if the double bottom is on daily you don't look for you don't go for forward to look for entry ah you don't go for forward to look for confirmation entry confirmation entry will still be on daily so what we are looking at is we want either a bu bullish candle bullish candle to overpower that we want a bullish candle. Bullish candle, I mean bullish engulfing. We want uh, the next day to have a very big candle like that so that we can now be assured that our market will will continue to go up. So that's what we are looking. So we need a bullish engulfing candle so that now we can go to four hour to look for entry. So we just need a bullish engulfing candle because what happened is you can have this daily candle closes like this and after you enter by what happens the next day the candle closes again and now it breaks support so don't be quick because it has given you like indication our double bottom is on for, uh, on daily and you enter without confirmation we can now see clearly that there is a formation of double bottom but we are not given an entry confirmation there is no entry confirmation in this uh, at this point no confirmation so if you enter by you can see maybe the next can the next day you can find the market has broken and now it's no longer a double bottom so be careful entering if you are and i will repeat again if your double bottom is formed with daily time frame all you need to do is to wait confirmation with daily time frame and we are looking for bullish engulfing candle or if we get a doji we put a box wbb and we wait it breaks so let's see the next candle let's see the next candle what it was so let's see the next candle what it was so this is the first candle we have got you can see it is the buyers are really trying to push that's what i've said if you get a double bottom 
all you need to do is to put that box wbb remember even for our we were putting because we don't want to enter with just a green candle so put wbb on it put that box and now we are waiting we let me delete that box we are waiting wbb to break remember if it breaks here we have so many we have so many uh pips to to from uh to the neckline we have so many pips to then all the way from the neckline is like how many 530 pips so we need to be accurate we need to be accurate uh before entering so let's play and see the next candle the next candle still the buyers are not willing to break that box so let's see the next candle and you can see even if we had adjusted our box the box would have still been broken you see even if we had adjusted the box or you had remained your box in that level so the that day is when you got an entry guys this is a sure bet that the market is uh it's it's going uh it is now it has created a uh, a double bottom so you can enter immediately you can enter immediately with the daily time frame or you can switch to four hour but what i do i just put a long position because i have i have i have um entered this market and my stop loss it's at that level i don't know how many pips to to the stop loss it's 266 pips so the stop loss is if you can cancel this trade if it goes wrong if it comes back and break this zone so you know where to exit and then take profit is at that level so you can shift to four hour look for even discounted price what do i mean by discounted price sometimes market will try to retest so you can try to look for discounted price but what we are assured of is that this market has to go to our neckline and we have to get how many pips let's see how many pips we are getting from this trade we are getting 437 pips if you target to the bodies is 337 so just put your trade relax and now let's play this thing i hope <laughs> i hope it won't uh it won't uh go down i hope it goes up so let's play and see what happens so the first day you can see this retracement let me show you if you are on four hour you can see the way the market really retraced that's what i'm saying if you go to lower time frame you can see discounted prices you can be able to know if this market can retrace how much it can retrace to i can show you after we entered it retraced to 172 pips so if you were on lower time frame you could have entered new entries but our goal is to get to the neckline so guys let's play this thing and see what happens so these are days of holding that trade remember you are holding that trade knowing that the market will get into to your tp and that's guys how we trade double bottom it has hit our tp and how many pips have we gotten from the whole uh trade let me show you how many pips 446 pips so 446 pips how many days did we wait 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 days you got 456 pips so sometimes you enter a trade and because you are sure it will go to and hit your tp you just leave it and you'll be adding in position you see here all this uh, retracement in lower time frame you could have been adding position imagine if you had like four position five position six positions you could have earned a lot guys i hope this double bottom uh, strategy will really help you and improve your trade so what we do uh just practice rewind the video just practice with it know when to enter if the double bottom is on four hour just wait on four hour for confirmation on wbb strategy if it is daily if double bottom is daily you have to wait for wbb to happen on daily if the double top is on weekly you have to a uh, double bottom is on weekly if it is on monthly you have to wait for a whole month so that you can have a confirmation that that market it won't stop when it starts moving thank you so much for guys uh thank you so much for watching i hope this video will really help you and you will start making in money with double bottoms thank you so much for watching until next time bye bye